In lazy loser news. Lazy loser. That's me. No, Shut the not. fuck up. You I work so, so damn hard. I'm you're on my. You're you're on an all girl podcast called Hey Bitch. So make sure to check Ooh, it out. Go check there it you out. go. I'm in there too. Submitted by Adidas Swoosh. I, did. Oh. <laughs> I don't like it. He's a funny guy. It makes me feel weird. But I don't like it. Yeah. You know what? I pictured those bootleg clothing. Oh, oh like sure. Chinatown like, clothes. It's bad. Yeah. <laughs> it says Adidas with the Nike yeah. on it. Yeah. A taxi driver was fired after faking a heart attack to get out of a small fair trip. <gasps> Can't he just say get out? Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Like, oh shit, I'm having a heart attack. You better get out of the car. Uh, <laughs> I'm real big yeah, car that would actually make it take longer because I'd be like, oh, I'm going to call 911. Yeah. Like, get the ambulance here. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 it's okay. I, I've had this before. No, 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 really. I'm just having a heart attack. It's fine. Please tell me there's a video. Yes, there's a video. Oh, that's tight. So this happened I in... love it when people fake shit. It's so funny. Great. Yep, this happened in Sydney. Australia. Yep. Australia. <laughs> Let me show you guys the video clip. Oh, so, well, let me tell you before. So he- God damn it, Tiff. I'm sorry. He picked her up from the airport. Okay. But he immediately wanted to drop her off in the middle of nowhere once he uh -oh. realized how short the trip was. Which I'm thinking, if it's that short, why not just, just fucking drop it. her off? Yeah. yeah. Whatever. <clears throat> this happened. You have just refused I'm, I'm my fare. I'm, I'm not driving. My condition is... I'm not driving. Yes, but you've yeah, just dropped me in the I, middle of nowhere. If I make the accident, who's responsible? You... No, no, no. You're a liar. You said you wanted to turn the... You wanted to turn the meter off. I turned down the taxi. I can't... You right. said you wanted to turn <laughs> the meter off. <laughs> because you wanted a... Oh, what is that thing? You said you wanted a larger fare than the airport to Annandale. Oh, no. Oscar Award. Oscar Award goes... <laughs> She's not buying that shit at all, dude. Oh, my That's God. Sweet. That one was like... <laughs> Oh. Cool. Drop it while he's still listening to her, like what yeah. she says, so you yeah. can have a rebuttal. <laughs> if you're having a heart attack, I don't think you'd be arguing like that. Dude, well, he also knows he's being filmed, so he's like making sure his face doesn't look weird at all. He's yeah. keeping his face very symmetrical and like listening to her while so he has his heart attack. Yep. Fucking amazing. That's pretty what funny. The fuck? She's dope for not giving a fuck about his whack ass performance. Oh, that's great. Hell yeah. What if he was really having a heart attack though? I don't think it looks like that. But wouldn't that be nuts? That, that would be nuts. She'd feel like such an ass when then he dies. <laughs> and she has it on video and shit. How insane. And she's like, you are a liar. He's like, I'm fucking joking. And she's like, you're lying. And she's like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Oscar, Oscar, what? Wouldn't that be sick as fuck? That would be, I mean, how would you feel about yourself after that, though? Oh, I feel so bad. I, I still oh blame the dude. I probably nice. would, too. I'm like, he's an asshole. You want a bigger fare? He Ooh, wanted to drop like, me off man, in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, why does he have to act like so bad acting? Right? This happened to me when I was in, uh, yeah. I was in ice, or no, I was in fucking, um, Somebody like, faked the heart attack? No, nah, I went to Norway and Sweden. I was in Sweden. <laughs> Did he fake the heart attack? No, no, no. It was like, um. Like an Uber driver? We were, me and my buddy, Tipsy Bartender, we were going from the airport to our hotel. And like, we're not even like a mile away from the airport. We're like, hey man, what's the fare? How much is it gonna be to the thing? And he gives us like a crazy, he's like 500 bucks, basically. Oh, wow. And we're like, no fucking way. The whole so, country's not big enough for it to cost $500. Dude, thank you. So so then he's like, well, we're gonna, I'm gonna drop you off right here. So he dropped us off like, like um, a mile from the airport. So then like- A mile from the airport? Oh, yeah. shit. So we had to like, I'm like, I got my rolly thing and we're like carrying a bunch of shit. Well, you already and, got in the taxi when he told you yeah, to there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Damn. Because it took them a minute to like... I didn't know they do taxi scams out there. I heard that they were a nice country. Dude, they are nice. So the, then the... This was like a random guy. Um, then the cops... Like, we had been walking for like 20 minutes. Like, oh, you actually just said, fuck it. I'd rather yeah, walk. Fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn. No way. I, I, I want the deal. I would have scammed him. I would have been like, okay, and then I would have walked out. Oh, that's pretty Oh, yeah, good. once you get there. That's but he might he might be like, let me see the money, you know? Right. Well, when the cops come and you tell them no, what, how like, ridiculous it is... No, but like, before you get there... Like, as he's making the deal, uh, like, partway into the trip, he's like, well, let me see that you got it. And then he could have kicked him out anyway. True. Yeah. So, yeah, so then the cops, like, uh, we were walking for, like, 15, 20 minutes, and then the cops, like, stopped us, and like, what the fuck are you guys doing out here? And then we told them the thing, and then they drove us back, and they were very oh, cool. Nice. And apologized. Nice. And then they were like... They apologized? They apologized yeah. on behalf of their country, and they said that they wanted to get the guy's number. They think that they know how to figure out who that was because wow. of dispatch. And wow. we have to punish him. So I was like, damn. Damn. Because if it was okay. Mexico, the cops come up and then they'll say how much money you got and then they yeah. drive away. Yeah. <laughs> they leave you in the snow. Amazing. And take your luggage. Yup. 
If it was J Japan, the cops will take you and then give you a blowjob and then 500 spending money. Oh, that's amazing. Polish yeah. your shoes. And then wow. polish your shoes. Are you sure it's Japan, not Canada? It sounds very Canada polite. Canada wouldn't polish your shoes. Oh, I see. But they'd suck your dick. Yeah. But, and, 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 and give you moose milk or something. That's nice. Yeah. Moose How milk. is that? Maple syrup moose milk. Okay. Mm. Delicious. You know they talk like really big about their maple syrup cookies. They do. I didn't think it was that special. Don't you love it? Ooh. By the way, don't you love it when someone's like, our thing is the shit, and yeah. then you try it, and then you get to look at them and go, not that good. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love that feeling. We are world famous for this thing, and I'm all like, yeah. They're like, it's my fucking identity, and then you're like, guess what? Mm. Oh, I love that like, shit. First it doesn't time we feel good for me because I've done that a lot since mm -hmm. I got to LA and every time I've been met with aggression. So it doesn't feel good. You're talking about from one person. From a lot of people. Oh, I see. <laughs> Did you turn into many, many people? That one person turns into- No, because Jess goes like this. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's funny. That's so exaggerated. I've, I've never seen it. It feels that way is what he's saying. Yeah. I see. So anyway, this taxi driver here. So the woman reported the incident, and so the company checked out the driver's logs, and it was clear that the timestamps matched the passenger's claims. And so the driver was pulled in for an investigation, and that's when they, when he couldn't justify his actions, that's when they fired him. Ooh, oh shit! Yep. Damn. Damn, that's some good ass regulation. That and is, then actually. also the taxi deputy chief executive person said that drivers aren't allowed to refuse a passenger because of a short <coughs> journey. The only time cab drivers can reject a job is if the driver is finishing up their shift. Gotcha. You know when you lie? I'm not under the right conditions right now. <laughs> you know when you lie and then you get proven, like they're like, no bullshit, and then you're still sticking with your lie and you're like, it's so fucked up that you didn't believe no. me. No. You've never been there? No. Really? That, that it's so fucked up you don't believe me? And you still want to stick to it because your ego is so Yeah, funny? yeah, yeah, no, because you still want to project blame onto them, so you're like, it's fucked up that you're so <laughs> cynical that you won't believe my like lie. Like you didn't fall for my lie. Right. <laughs> like what if I really had a heart attack? I've been on the other side of that. Yeah. Like, like what if I was really having a heart attack, right. you asshole? Yeah. yeah. It's like, well, I know I wasn't having a heart attack, but what if I was? It's fucked yeah. up that you didn't. This is how you're going to treat me? Yeah, I do that to him when he doesn't answer his phone when we're far apart. I'm like, hey, I was, because I never call him. I'm like, hey, what if I was like, something was happening and you don't answer your phone? What if I could be dead and I get mad at the hypothetical? Mm-hmm. And then he's like, you're not dead. And that's exactly what right. I'm like, you don't even care, though. I do care. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it just sounds fucking ludicrous at this point. That's but. funny. You just got to stick with it. Why not? Yeah. Because at that point, you're like, basically, you put the concrete down. That's hilarious. <laughs> you make up an imagination as you're talking to him. And because then it you can get happen. Yes. It can happen. I don't get mad. It's not mad. It's hurt. This is yeah. the religion of stubborn people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For sure. It's hurt. Yeah. You know? There's always a reason. Yep. I know. There's <laughs> always funny. a reason. Yeah, that's like when you're a kid, and then you want to stick to the lie, and then <laughs> you know you got caught, but it's easy to just blame the other person. Always. That's the funniest shit ever. At least he got fired. So, he's not doing that shit again. Or at least not as a taxi driver. Yeah, he's, he's an Uber driver Uber now. Driver. <laughs> Dude, the bitchiest thing, like the pussiest thing I ever did, I, 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 when, I, when we were watching wrestling when I was a kid, all that shit, WWF and shit, and I jackknifed my my buddy through a closet door, and then when my can you tell me what a jackknife yeah. is? Jackknife is when you like pick them up like this, and so From their the heads feet? down between your legs, and then like you're oh like, upside down. Yeah, it was like a power bomb jackknife thing. <coughs> Threw him through the closet door, like like head and shoulders first. <laughs> oh, Broke that fucking thing in half, right? The thing just fucking collapsed, right? And then my parents and everybody's like, "What the fuck, Steven? All this shit." And then you know, because you got to stick with your, you got to, you got to try to figure out a way to deflect blame or whatever. So I'm like, "Man, like this wrestling shit. I guess it's really that I thought." Oh you know? my oh, god! Fuck yeah, you gotta try. You uh, gotta try. You deflect it onto wrestling. That yeah, shit yeah, yeah. flies only in your household. Oh, dude. Well, Did it they was get an offended? attempt. It was an attempt. No, it didn't fucking work. <laughs> but that's that was my attempt, right? I'm like, man, the fact this shit. that you thought that would work is amazing. Yeah, thank you. I'm like, this shit fucking influences me in ways oh, I didn't no. realize. This shit, you know. <laughs> How you gotta try. You? I was like 12 or 13. What do they say? Damn. They're like, Steve, it doesn't fucking matter. That's the stupidest shit ever. Like, they didn't buy it for one second. I thought they'd be like, oh, you know what wrestling taught me, Steve? Yeah. They fucking take you and start 
floor. <laughs> that's tight. That's a different upbringing. Um, but but that's yeah, that's upbringing. yeah. But that's the thing that I learned from school because at school my teachers were like that. Like you know when you're watching that, it's like influencing the yeah. thing. And, all. and you do that fake guilt team, yeah. like that that fake guilt when you're like, oh, I knew it. That wrestling just got to me, man. It was like an after school special. <laughs> like, I'm so ashamed <laughs> of myself. Yep. I think I'm thinking that right now and I'm like, fuck, I think I busted the middle child syndrome on them. The religion of stubborn people. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's what I did. I was just like, well, just, you know, I think it's just my way of showing love, that I need love. So good. Yeah, they didn't give a fuck. But just let the music kind of fucking build yeah. behind yeah. you as you say them. it, you know what I mean? I always she use the them. Them. Yep. I what is it? Love. I always use the devil possessed me. That, that they is... believe that. Really? <laughs> oh shit! It worked. Who believed? They were it? so religious. Oh. I'd be like, you know what? I just got tantalized by Satan, just for that second. That would be such. That's an why easy, I had to beat up my friend. And they're like, damn it! Now we're all gonna have to pray. And I'm like, ah no! <laughs> and then like while we're praying, and I feel like my parents like getting angry at me. I'm like, I'm gonna get fucked up. And then they say, amen. All right, now it's time for your spanking. Boom! I'm like, fuck. Dude, you know who does that shit? The Catholic Church. Yeah. Like, hey, this priest was caught defense. diddling a kid or whatever. You did a Catholic priest defense. Yep. Yeah. You're like, well, Satan, uh, he got in me, man. Yeah, he really yeah. got in me good. <laughs> he got in my hands, man. He made me do things to their body parts. Suck the like, devil out. Yep. It's like, you're not in a Jim Carrey movie, dude. Yeah. <laughs> like, the fucking mask. Yeah, give oh me a break. Oh my god.